everybody and welcome to another edition of the Map Life Sports Report, a special CIF edition we have for you today. I'm Keith Molnar here with my guest co-anchor Bryce Gallagher. Bryce, what do we have on the show today? Thanks Keith. We got a packed show today coming at you with the newest edition of the Map Life Sports Report. We've had some great CIF action this past week. First off, we'll go with girls CIF volleyball. Last Friday, the Mavs were able to squeak out a 3-2 win against La Jolla Country Day in the second round of the Division I CIF tournament. Against Chula Vista's own East Lake High School, the Mavs swept them in all three sets. This Saturday, the Mavs will be taking on Point Loma on the road at 4 p.m. in the CIF Division I Championship. It's at Cathedral Catholic High School, again, on, at 4 p.m. on Saturday. Should be exciting. Yeah, definitely, Bryce. The girls team won a state championship in 2012. Should be interesting to see how well they do this year. Transitioning to boys water polo, the guys varsity squad took on Valhalla last Saturday and defeated the Norsemen by a score of 15 to eight. In the second round of the CIF Division I playoffs, they took on the number one seeded Granite Hills Eagles and defeated them by a score of 14 to 10. With that win, they'll take on Carlsbad in the Division I Championship on Saturday at 5 p.m. at Coggin Pool in La Jolla. Make sure to check out My Life Sports on Twitter for live updates of the game. The boys varsity water polo team, with their win on Wednesday, will go and take on Carlsbad in their first appearance of the CIF Championship game. Transitioning though to girls varsity field hockey, what do we see from them this CIF Championship season, Bryce? All right, Keith, so the girls varsity field hockey team earned a bye in the first round of the Division II CIF playoffs. They took on Valley Center Jaguars at home on Tuesday and won it with a score of three to zero. Madison Theodore and Nina Randolph combined for all of LCC's points against Valley Center. Yeah, Bryce, as you said, Nina Randolph and Madison Theodore, two big presences in the game. Theodore had two of the goals as well. Randolph assisted on every single one of those goals. They'll be taking on the Cathedral Catholic Dons on Thursday at 3.30. If they win in the semifinal game, they'll be going to the finals match on Saturday. Last but not least, the girls and guys varsity cross country teams won their individual CIF titles. Great job to cross country this past weekend. And now we bring in co-anchor Connor Hines with our football preview. The varsity football team will play this Friday against Grossmont at home in the second round of the CIF Division I playoffs since we had a bye. Game time is at 7, starting promptly at 7.05, looking for a good game. Keith, what can we expect from the Mavs offense? Thanks, Bryce. What we could definitely be seeing for the Mavs offense is a lot of shotgun passing against this Grossmont secondary. They've been very weak this season, giving off a lot of big plays deep in the secondary. I believe they use Chris Cassie and Corey Morris down deep. They could be seeing some success on offense. On the other side of the field, the Grossmont foothillers have been outstanding in the passing game. QB Calvin Ferris, he's six foot 195. He is an excellent passer, has 19 touchdowns this season, over 2,000 yards passing, although he can try and force the ball in the tight spaces where there are no receivers, has 12 interceptions on the season with a .482 completion percentage. Not very good numbers from them. I think if they force some bad throws from Ferris, the LCC defense could be seeing some success. Right you are, Keith. And now we go to Connor Hines with defense. Yeah, Bryce, the LCC defense, if there's anything we want to take away from this football season, the defense has been so potent this year. Players like Tommy Carey and Chandler Wackles have really looked to lead here in their senior years. And for the Grossmont defense, we haven't seen a lot of them. We know that the offense scores so many points consistently in every game. It's going to be a great one. We hope you're all there Friday night at 7 p.m. against Grossmont. As always, we would like to thank you for joining us here on the Mav Life Sports Report. For Mav Life Sports, I'm Bryce Gallagher. I'm Keith Muller. And I'm Connor Hines. Thanks.